So yes, uh, I'll be painting that skyscape on this Zen Sangam or watercolor art journal. Uh, trust me, I guess as an artist, what I wanted in a <clears throat> art journal, I guess it's perfect for that. And you know, uh, as as an artist, I recommend you all to buy this because, I mean, just uh, look at the texture. Uh, you might, uh, you know, have experienced that painting on uh, those acrylic sheets, which are plain, which are non-textured. You know, it is very difficult to paint on them as it gets dry easily and uh, there's no time for you to blend. So I feel, you know, very difficult to paint on those sheets. But this one, I guess this is my favorite and what I wanted in a sketchbook, you know, any medium you can use, acrylic, wash, like ink and water, anything. So these are, you know, my previous paintings, which I've painted. And as you can see, like there's perfect blending and it's beautiful. So I've already uh, used like masking tape around this. And uh, so if you want to draw, uh, I guess there's no drawing required for it, uh, you know, for the pencil, uh, directly we can paint. So you can, um, take your colors out first of all this is a uh, titanium white color here uh, and then okay if, uh, if you don't have these particular shades which i'll be using uh, there's no uh, like it will be okay there's no problem uh, you can uh, paint like if you have like prussian blue so you can uh, you know how to make that uh, you know light blue sky color you can uh, mix it with white and you will get the basic blue color uh, sky blue color right so you can do like that if you don't have these particular shades okay so now this is uh, your light blue permanent color uh, which i'll be using for the sky color so i have a um, a picture or uh, like this is a reference i'll take more uh, so this is the color i got but i don't need this one this is very light so i'll be adding more of ultramarine blue color so i feel like uh i've got my color which uh i it was required so i'll start painting now Like slowly, slowly, we will start painting our sky. Just move your brush towards the one direction. I won't be leaving this space for the uh, tree uh, because I will just paint over it. Just for the clouds, I will be leaving some space. So somewhere here we have like clouds, so made a line. So yeah, 
here we have clouds it's not compulsory to make the proper shape like it's our choice and then here we have to paint then again here Uh, also, I want to tell you one thing uh, that, you know, uh, the colors, uh, you know, on camera, it, it's like very dark, but uh, what I can see, it is very, you know, lighter than the picture which is shown in the, you know, video which is coming on the camera. But so do not uh, do it like, you know, much darker because... Um, but then uh, it will look very tacky. So just um, make sure that it's like light, it's not dark. Do we need to apply water before we wash? Uh, uh, so there's a question, do we need to apply water in paper before using wash? Uh, what I know, uh, you apply water in when you are using watercolors. Uh, for wash, I don't think so. We use, we apply, you know, water in paper. I don't have much idea about it because I only use acrylics. And there's uh, one more, like, I don't, uh, I have not left the space for the clouds. It's okay. Uh, uh, we'll make uh, clouds over it. There's no issue. So as I told, it's like lighter at the bottom. So I'll mix bit white color. Here, like bit blending is required, otherwise, So yeah, it's like lighter at the bottom and same uh, color on the uh, upper side of the sky. So I guess it's um, the sky color is done. Um, in uh, between here, we'll be needing this, uh, the color which we have mixed. So do not waste it or, you know, do not wash it off. So uh, just keep the color uh, at the side only. So next, uh, let me clean my brush. Do 
Which masking tape should be used? My one dear. Okay, this used to happen with me also, you know, uh, my masking tape used to, you know, tear my page, but uh, I bought this from, this is like transparent one, uh, not cello tape, but uh, this is masking tape only. I bought it from the local store. So I don't know the brand or something. So this was the tape, you know, this is the tape I use. So, okay, the space which we have left here is for our clouds. So for clouds um we can uh, use a bristle brush also round brush also so for me i'll i'll be using um, one of these this is these are round brushes these are like um this is a six size number and these both are four Many times I also use this brush, uh, bristle brush, which is a uh, one size number. Uh, I feel it's very, uh, you know, good for making clouds. It's, uh, it makes more realistic clouds. So I'll be taking four size number brush. We don't, uh, first, as you can see in the picture, it's like, here we have all white. We don't have any, you know, um, uh, any other color except than white. So uh, a little bit here, it's like uh, we'll use that blue color only. But uh, as such, we'll be using white color only. So I'll be taking that white color. Just dab on your, you know, this sheet. Just give me a minute, guys. Okay, sorry for the inconvenience. So we just need to dab here. Uh, this small, small, uh, this, you know, this part of the clouds, like uh, which we call cloud air, um, uh, it, it looks like, you know, how it looks like, uh, you know, realistic or um, uh, original. What we need to do, like on this, uh, for example, this portion, just, you know, without uh, adding, you know, more pressure on your uh, brush, with soft hands, just do it like this. Here also. It's okay if we are going, you know, out of shape, which is shown in our reference picture. We just need to learn here. We don't need to copy. Then we'll come to this part.
so also we need need to do a bit fast just because of the time we have okay so this space i left it because i knew there's some you know clouds over here so yeah some cloudy here you know in between these white clouds that blue sky is visible so that's why we need to use very less pressure bit here here also here we have you know a little bit of blue sky showing which will we have our color so we'll use it afterwards let's move towards here okay so here it is like lighter white it's not pure white as you can see in the reference picture i'm talking about this portion so i'll be mixing my white color a tinge like literally a tinge of that blue color which we have painted for our sky so now you can see the difference between this whole white thing and the color which i have mixed with ultramarine blue color and light blue permanent is dab dab and then now i have more of titanium white color which is like the one cloud is above here and here we have that tree and now these cloud hairs which is here with very light pressure and here also like with very very light hands do not put you no know, much pressure and if you think that it's like more of white i have you know this we have this whole like blue color so i can just dab on it you know it will blend automatically not much okay so let's go down here you know here are like more of uh, cloudy hair and um, it's not like a proper 
it's just it's the power of this cloud but you know it's like hairy first i'll be painting this like little bit of blue here so now let's go back here we have you know some baby here hair here with very very light hands this is you know i'm again and again saying this because if you uh, you know put much pressure on your brush right now it's not going to look realistic so with some experience of you know making uh, skyscapes so i'm telling this then here also i hope you all are you know enjoying this while painting just focus on your art and um, don't you know think about the end result we should enjoy this process we should not you know think much about the end result yeah we're off here and then a curvy thing is here a little bit of here okay so here it is done oh, we'll come back to this portion we have little bit of cloudy here with very very light hands again and again i'm saying this perfect so here we have <clears throat> a bit of this blue color you know i'm talking about this portion so i'll take my blue color and add a line over here okay and what i will do now is i'll take my titanium look uh, sorry titanium white color and just try to dab on it so that it will blend with my white color actually uh, this line was also not you know straight it was bit in a cloudy shape like a bit curvy one so yeah let's take it's not whole uh, blue here we're going to blend while painting you know skyscapes or seascapes you know those paintings which required uh, uh, you know more blending we uh, really need more patience because it's like sometimes it's like very frustrating that we are doing so much and 
not you know uh, the result is not coming but it's okay we just need like patience here and we have some blue here also some blue here very light light okay uh here it's like uh, now let's you know this portion is our almost done so let's talk about this part here we have more of little little blue not much <laughs> and just blend it with white just keep uh, dabbing your brush into the water after five minutes because it gets dry and uh, after this you know your brush um, brush will not be in a good state so don't forget to dab your brush into the water after five minutes like you just have to dab, do not, you know, wash your brush. So done. Yeah. Now this part is also done and this is also done somewhere. There is blue, which we'll do it afterwards. Let's come to this part now. We'll take some blue color and um, a bit uh, here with very light hands. Do not worry. We're just going to blend it with our white color. And here. It's very, you know, done. So now we'll take white color. and just dab on it or try to blend it it's like very 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 light gray but we won't use like we won't make it gray let's just do it with the uh, light blue color only it's just the upper layer we're gonna blend it with white Again, dab, dab. And then here, um, bit of cloudy hair, so we don't require any color. Which the uh, the color which is left 
it, you know, on our brush, we'll use that only. Some here, like towards down. Oh, uh, now is it fine? Uh, I guess there's like a Wi-Fi issue. Okay, so let's come here. Here we have like, I have not uh, taken any uh, uh, color. It's the color which is left on my brush. I'm using that only. It's like more of water. So I'll take, you know, a bit of that blue color. Now properly we're going to, you know, blend it with our white color and then dab dab here also And then let's come here. So as I told you here, we have like more of baby, uh, sorry, cloud hair. So first we'll have our blue color. And then with that only, we'll you know, just that. So here also, dab, 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 and uh, here we have like more of blue color and less of white. I feel like here we have like more of blue. Now just blend. Here also. It's like very dark, so I'm just going to put white color over here. Mm 
then we have our blue color here this is like you know partially our raw sky is visible through the clouds here here and here so i feel like you know um our clouds are like done also here i'll you know paint like more of blue as you can see in our you know reference picture then here also So yeah, clouds are uh, done. Uh, here, just wait, wait, wait. Here we have little bit. So yeah, perfect. So clouds are done here. And then uh, we'll make our uh, tree in the middle of our uh, painting. See, I'm never satisfied. Like I keep on doing it. You know, whenever I feel like it's like perfect, then I leave my <laughs> brush. So here also we have some hair. Yeah. So for the uh, tree, uh, we'll be needing sap green and yellow color. And uh, just for that wooden part, I have raw umber or uh, you can, uh, if you have like brown color, what you can do, just mix your brown with a tinge of black. Don't put much black or just like a you know tinge of um, black and then just mix it and you'll get this color and if you feel like it's very dark just you know the solution you just have to you know add white color we have like here right first let's just you know uh start with the darker tone and then we'll go with the light mm. oh is it here right so now my hands gonna shake it's like straight only not proper straight because it's a tree it has like stems and all thing um and here also it seems like it's black color but it's not uh, as i told you like you know in video we have on camera it's like darker tone Okay. Just paint this hole here and then with white color, we're going to highlight. This is my liner brush.
Yes. So <clears throat> in the picture, you can see it's not um, completely dark. We have light, lighter uh, here, portion here. So now uh, we'll use our white color. Just blend it. Do not, you know, dab it or something. First, I'll make a line and then I'll blend. Now with the same color, I'm going to blend it. Okay, now that, you know, the color which, uh, the darker color. So I'll give some lines here. Like very thin lines. very thin lines don't put much pressure i guess it's not uh, visible on the camera On the upper side, it's like lighter only, so it won't be like more visible. So yes, so this wooden part is also done. Now we'll make the main thing, that's our leaves. So I have sap green color and this um, pale yellow color. You can also use a normal yellow color. Uh, there's no, you know, not a um, perfect shade required for yellow color.
for a dark green color we'll mix our sap green with black color also like not much black but lighter only okay so with that liner brush only i'm gonna paint my leaves i'm um, really sorry i somebody has written please wait i can't wait because it's already 5 10 and uh, i'll do it slow but i can't wait so first let's just start with our darker tones and then we'll shift towards our lighter so first what we can do is with our sap green color we'll just you know uh, draw a sketch of it like you got it like we'll not paint it properly but let's just with sap green color only uh let's draw the portrait of this i mean sketch of this tree so first it's like here then here and then it is like here it is hidden over here then the main is something like here then we have lots and lots of leaves here okay so first of all here we have like very dark green i mean darker tone because as uh it seems like there's no sunlight over there oh uh, so that's why so what we'll do we'll mix our black color with the um, green color just dab it and So now with this color only, we'll start making our leaves. With very thin lines, these are like bigger. With very thin lines. I 
here we have light test so we'll not paint this portion we'll come to the spot it's like you know um bit It is uh, like dark over here also, but we have, you know, as we can see in the reference picture, it's like green and yellow. I can see one over here. It's taken a bit of yellow. Now I've taken yellow color for this also. I've added white color. green lines here just to make it more original then here also we'll add some yellow lines We have a bit of yellow here just because of the sunlight.
and now we'll have yellow here. It's not like yellow, we can say it's light green color. <laughs> and then here some leaves as it looks empty here Just for the shining, you know, sunlight, we land here. Here also. Wherever, you know, from, uh, the sunlight is coming from in between the leaves, we'll add white. So yeah, mm, I feel our painting is like completed. 